hello everyone how are you going welcome back to another topic today in this video we are going to talk about firmware ready let's begin firmware is a type of software that is embedded into hardware devices during manufacturing to control their functionality to put it simply firmware is meant to control the hardware in the background and not interact with human users it usually requires special equipment to embed firmware into the device Unlike traditional software, firmware is not designed to be modified or changed because it is permanently stored in non-volatile memory such as ROM. Basically, firmware provides instructions on how the device is supposed to work and also minimizes hardware level security vulnerabilities. It works as a bridge between hardware and software, allowing hardware to interact with the operating system and applications. Just keep in mind the main purpose of firmware is to ensure the reliable and efficient operation of the hardware it is installed in and also plays a critical role in the overall performance and functionality of the device firmware can be found in a wide range of devices such as computers mobile phones printers routers scanners TVs and so on in personal computers BIOS and UEFI are common examples of firmware Let's go a little more deeper into it. Firmware is the first part that runs when a device is powered on. It sends instructions for execution to the device's processor. For simple devices such as remote controls, firmware works continuously as there is no software to replace it. In more complex devices such as computers, multiple firmware communicate with each other to achieve a common goal such as loading their operating systems. For example, in a traffic light, firmware tells it to change the lights at regular intervals. A computer without firmware would not know how to detect its hard drive. If a hard drive doesn't have embedded firmware, it wouldn't know how fast to spin or when to stop. Okay, now firmware is also known as software for hardware. However, there is a big difference between firmware and software. Firmware provides instructions to help hardware startup communicate with other devices and perform basic input output functions software on the other hand is installed onto a device and used for interaction such as browsing the internet world processing listening to music video conferencing and so on now the question is why is it called firmware well because it's a combination of firm and software the firm in software refers to the fact that it is embedded into hardware and is not intended to be easily changed, making it more firm or fixed compared to traditional software. There are three types of firmware. Low-level firmware, these cannot be modified or updated because they are considered as integral hardware elements, also known as one-time programmable memory. They are stored on non-volatile memory chips such as ROM, PROM and EPROM. High-level firmware, this kind of firmware is deployed within flash memory chips and comes with more complex instructions than low-level firmware, bringing them closer to the software than hardware. And because in a computer they are stored in flash memory, so update is possible. Subsystem firmware. These firmware often come as part of an embedded system that can work independently. It can be compared to high-level firmware because it can be updated. It often looks like its device because microcode for this firmware is built into the CPU, LCD and flash memory. One example is a server's power subsystem, which is a piece of server hardware that functions almost independently from the server. Now it is also important to note that device manufacturers regularly release firmware updates to fix bugs so that devices remain secure and compatible with new media. For example, Android and iOS devices periodically get firmware updates that enhance their performance, add new features and protect them against security threats. Firmware updates for devices like game consoles and televisions are typically done by accepting prompts to download and install the latest patch. One last thing which is worth mentioning. What happens when you delete the firmware? Well, normally you cannot delete it. If somehow you did it, your device will become a brick. It would be like wiping out its brain. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Please subscribe for more videos.